what's up guys we are back here with another auto auction update man it's still a little cold out here so you know i'm ice chilly down but uh back here at the auction man if you are if you haven't already please like comment and subscribe if you are a subscriber already don't hesitate to share the link um yeah got a pretty uh couple of pretty cool cars here today so let's check them right out shall we all righty guys first up on the list we're gonna save time here i'm just gonna show you what i believe you guys pretty much aren't interested in we have a pontiac bonneville here i know you guys aren't interested in that what is this we got a 1984 Datsun stanza i guess we'll we'll start there that, that seems pretty uh pretty unique so we got a 1984 Nissan slash Datsun Stanza with 103,000 miles, guys. Uh, this is a blast from the past, that's for sure. Definitely a blast from the past. Let's check out the inside. 1984. Wow. Yeah, the interior looks pretty good in here. I mean, for a 1984, I'm sure it's going to look better than a half the cars up here and wow just look at these controls up here they kept this thing in pristine pristine condition the top speed on this was 105 wow have things changed so much here today seems pretty cool very different and unique for sure i don't know what do you guys think about the stanza man little uh little tequila kick there but all in all it looks pretty good what y'all think about it let me know in the comments below we got a 2006 pt cruiser 96,000 miles guys i know you guys don't really like the pt so we're just gonna keep it uh keep it fairly quick for you here i'll show you yeah pt cruiser rebuilt title 90 some odd t some odd miles 96,000 miles on the dash alrighty guys i know it looks like a wall right here but it's really not um this is actually like one of those land boats i think or something some type of boat but it's freaking it's a 1982 kayak kayak i don't know boat but it does come with the trailer pretty cool look like flat boat i guess Wow, you got tables and everything, but I just seen a freaking boat video where a big boat like this tipped over in the water and I'm not trying to tip over in the water. But I mean, I guess it seems pretty legit if this is your your style, floating on two little tubes down a river. Seems pretty legit. What you guys think about it? Could you fix this thing up? How much would you be able to sell it for if you're a boat guy? What y'all think about it? Let me know in the comments below. We got an 06 Nissan Sentra here, rebuilt title, 152,000 miles on the clock. We're not gonna spend too much time on the cars that you guys don't wanna see. Uh, we got a 1998 Mitsubishi 3000 GT, 179,000 miles. Never really seen one of these up close. And so we'll just check it out. Just for the heck of it. I don't know if the 3000 GT's ever been a thing or not, but it's my first time seeing one up close. So I figure why not check it out. But yeah, moving along, moving along. Couple of classic cars here, guys. We got a 1985 Cadillac Cimarron. They, they don't even make these models anymore. I haven't heard of a Cadillac Cimarron like ever. Like, let's just take a quick look at this thing. Wow, definitely a classic car. Definitely a classic. Uh, that hood is stuck. But man, let's take a look at the inside. Wow, this thing speaks luxury when you look at these seats. They look so good. 1985, this had to be like super, super luxury. These seats look like they're so comfortable. They got emblems in the freaking floor, carpet, and all that. It looks really, really good. 1985 
Cadillac Cimarron, cleanest car up here probably. And it looks really good, y'all. 2.8 liter V6. Definitely another blast from the past, that's for sure. Looks really good though. What you guys think about the Cimarron? I don't know nothing about it, but if you do, let me know something about it. Alrighty guys, next up, we got a 95 Honda Civic here, 145,000 miles. Definitely probably one of the uh, the um, stunt double cars from the Fast and the Furious. Pretty whooped, pretty whooped. So we're just gonna keep it moving to some of the good stuff. I guess we got a decent car here. We got a 2000 Hyundai Sonata, 114,000 miles on it. Does seem pretty fair. Does seem pretty fair. Uh, let's take a round, walk around this way. Pretty low mileage. Uh, the AC is not cold. Let's take a look at the inside. It does look really clean in here. Um, I'm sure they cleaned it up and pro I'm sure it probably looked like super dirty when they first got it but being this is the most expensive auction in town they definitely uh now you can sell a, a cleaner car that's for sure for more so it's a pretty cool looking car pretty cool looking car might go for what like three like 400 bucks here today but maybe a little bit more i'm not sure we'll see all righty guys next up we got a 2013 chrysler 200 here 132,000 miles on the dash, man. Took a turn for the worst here. Yeah, the rails are definitely bent out of proportion there. So this one's gonna need some serious frame damage work. Um, if this is your thing, this will be perfect for you because the mileage is pretty low. Um, sure it's gonna sell for really cheap here. Take a look at the inside. No airbags have blown out, so that's a plus two. Um, just really like dirty and filthy in that thing. I'm sure they didn't bother to clean that out because they know it's not gonna sell for much or nothing. So I guess it is what it is. Uh, might have been even a uh, might have been a rental at one point. Who knows? What you guys think about it? Can it be fixed? Let me know in the comments below. All right, you guys don't care about the GMC Envoy with 181,000 miles. Um, however, it might have a motor that we might need, but moving along, I know you guys already seen the Porsche with low compression. That thing uh, is pretty whooped, man. If you guys wanna see that thing, go back to a couple of my videos or I'll just show you the inside really quick. It's really not much of nothing. This thing has been here for like two months. Not even that, probably longer than two months. Same Cheeto bag, everything is the same. Nobody wants this thing, this thing is trash now. But, all in all, pretty fair. Yeah, we're only gonna stop and look at the most interesting cars here today, guys. So I don't wanna hold you up too long. Alrighty, guys, next up, we got a 03 Toyota Camry here, 236,000 miles here. I know the mileage sounds like a lot, but man, it's a Toyota. It's a Toyota, man. Let's check out this inside. It does look really good in here. It does have some Uber life left in it. it. Does have some Uber potential, guys. What do you guys think? Is it really clean? I think it's really clean. I think it's something you might want to bid on if you're looking for a flip or something. You guys know, you guys know uh, tax time is coming up, so you want to get in before it gets crazy. You want to get your, your stack up, man. So we'll see. Moving back along down this way. I know you guys don't really care about too much of these cars. 164,000 miles, 174,000. Alrighty. Alrighty guys, next up, we got a 03 Infiniti G35 here, 121,000 miles on the dash. Does hold a rebuilt title. Um, but it does look pretty good. Got a little whammy there. 
Right, let's check out the inside really quick. I'm sure this one's gonna go pretty expensive today. Probably like three grand. I don't know why, but this thing is super whooped in the inside. Smells like flood damage of some sort. It is super, super smoky, like and dirty type. So I don't know, I'd be cautious of that. It was probably dogging the heck out this car and just cleaned it up to make it look nice. But hey, who really knows? We're looking for a truck now, so it is what it is. We've got a 2012 Chevy Cruze here, 97,000 miles on the dash. Dove have, does have a code AC. The body looks to be in pretty, pretty good shape as well. You can take a look at the inside. Uh, seats is pretty dirty. Seats is pretty dirty. Look oiled up. Oiled up and juiced up and dirtied up. I mean, they gave a good little detail in here. But them seats is whooped. Seats is whooped. The Chevy Cruze can go up on Turo. We're looking for either a truck or something we can throw on Turo and try to make some money back. Uh, we don't want the Caddy. You guys don't want the Ford. Yeah, I want the Lexus. 181,000 miles. I'll show it to you. We got a 04 Lexus ES 330. 181,000 miles, guys. Got a back window broken there. Let's take a look at the inside. Uh, it's pretty decent, pretty fair. Leather is, is really whooped, though. Not wood, but it's definitely looked like it's been through it. But I mean, it's pretty clean in here. Pretty fair all around, nothing out of order. However, this window is broken right there. Uh, pretty good, you do have a little whammage over here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Definitely a whammage on this door. So that'll sell cheaper than most. So I don't know, we'll keep looking. We got a 06 Impala SS with 151,000 miles here. Now this is the beast of the Impala. You can take a quick look at the inside of it. it does have some nice leather interior. We used to get drop off in this thing every day. SS Impala, I think used to be nice. So I'm pretty sure, uh, I don't know. I know it runs good if it's all put together. Who knows? Sam now. We'll have to see and check it out. But if you guys see that, that pipe, it's longer than that pipe. Look at that. Now look at that. So I don't know if it's something under there or what. But I'll keep an eye on that when that comes to the auction. But y'all think about it. Next up, we got a 2012 Jaguar XJ with 116,000 miles here, guys. Looks pretty good from a first glance. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good going to back. Does have the Carmax sticker on the back there, so that's a plus. We can take a look at the inside here. Does look really, really good in here. Let's take a look at the back. Yeah, this thing screams luxury this is definitely like some really really good leather and stuff seems pretty fair judging it drives nice and don't have no smoke or nothing coming out pipes it does look really good though it's definitely stretched out it's not the portfolio version of the jaguar but it does look pretty decent what you guys think about it let me know in the comments below uh, moving along. Now you guys don't want to spend all your your time on the cars that are not interested in. So, alrighty, guys, we got a 2001 Toyota Sequoia here, 219,000 miles on the dash. It is a four x four, and the AC is cold. These things are like still worth a lot of money. I know the Saudis love these things. We just take a look at the inside. You can already see it does have the uh, the four by four action there. All of the seats are like individual. Got back seats back there. I don't know if it has a third row or not. Sunroof, etc. 
seems pretty legit. Nice little towing vehicle if you got a if you got a rig to set up on the back. Nice Toyota. Looks pretty good. To say the least. Little blinker, half light missing. Some little uh, little fender, I guess wide body action missing on that end. Yeah, it's definitely missing, but it looks good on this side. What y'all think about it? Alrighty, we got a 94 GMC Sierra here, 136,000 miles. It is a 4x4 as well. Looks like they might have took the rims off this joint. I'm sure they did before they brought it to the auction. Yeah, they definitely uh, found these in the back end. Them probably the wheels were right there. Now that I think about it, they probably took the wheels off at the auction and threw these back on there. I'm pretty sure that's what they did. Took the radio out and then threw it up for auction. I mean, if you throw some nice wheels on here, man, you'll be in the game. It's actually a little too old for me, but uh, seems pretty legit. I don't know what you guys think. It's a little too old, but might be pretty cool. Only if it feels like LF swap, it'll be perfect. Super dirty. You know. Little old. Little old. Alrighty guys, next up we got a 2017 Hyundai Sonata here. 45,000 miles on the clock. Uh pretty new car to say the least got some little running from the police action there or waiting on the uber driver or something who knows but sheesh this seat is filthy this thing is like black like can you see that dirt just sitting on top of there insides whooped this definitely was like a passenger vehicle or something like that this thing is super whipped in the inside. But I'm sure it's gonna go for a pretty good amount here today. Got a little tequila kick there in the back as well. Yeah, we can swap around this side and see what's up. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. And it does have the uh, Nevada uh, TNC permit, which you're able to go to like the airport and stuff with. So that may be why it's pretty whipped in the inside. Who knows? Alrighty, guys, that's going to be a wrap for today's video, man. Maybe you might catch me in this nice Jag later on in the day, hopefully, because we're going to bid on it today, man. So stay tuned for that. Let's see if I win it. Hopefully I will. If not, hey, there's always going to be more. So as always, guys, peace and be easy out there. I'll catch you on the next one.